Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Prey Moon Crash. I still have no idea what I'm looking for here. You know what I, you know what I want to do? Let's go back to the grav shaft and head back downstairs and see if... Uh, hey, I was trying to stay above that, but I, I guess I was right above it though. I was pretty close to it. Um, yeah, we're going to go back down the grav shaft and see if the objective marker reappears. Just make sure that it really was trying to lead me up into that area. The objective marker has not reappeared. I'm pretty sure. Okay, so we were like here, and we saw it up there, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn this off and then back on. Yeah, we're in Moonworks. All right, I think the objective marker has just disappeared because we got close enough to where we were supposed to be going, and it didn't want to. Um, it doesn't want to just lead you right to it. I was hoping that it would it would reappear once we got down there to at least reassure me that we're in the right place. Because, you know what, maybe we're not, but I think we are. So wait, actually, I know, I apologize. But I'm going to go back down and I'm going to try to figure out actually where that is in the room. So let's see. We walk. Uh, I wish I had a compass. Okay, so the objective marker was like over here as I remember it. Right above that. Okay, so we walk this way. I'm going to try to keep these directions straight in my head and then transpose them onto the floor above. It's a pretty straight run. Then again, I'm also going off of my memory of where the uh, where the objective marker was and not necessarily where it actually was. So it'd be over there, right? right I think all the scary stuff in this room is gone. Yeah, the objective marker... I think would be in this area. It's not a body down here, is there? No. I should come up here with Joan. We should um we should run the simulation in a different order this next time. Have we been inside Harvester Ops? Am I gonna get electrocuted if I touch this uh, this water? Yeah, let's try to get into Harvester Ops from above. Oh no, I bet I have been, right? Because that looks pretty easy to get into. Yeah, uh, we might have to come. We might have to reset the sim, come back here as Joan, fix everything, and then come in as Riley and try to figure this all out. Which is cool. That's like a that's an interesting way to have to do things. There's some elements of this Moon Crash thing that are really really neat. Out. That's the that's the sparking electrical junction. Don't jump directly toward that. SB. You know, I'm not sure I have been in here. Okay, let's um, let's try to get in here. I need. I don't have the carrying ability. That guy's seeing better days. Here, this is probably not conducive. <laughs> Yeah, that might be good enough. Okay, yes, we were totally in here. Also, I can't climb. There we go. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Uh, I wonder if this is important information, this harvester location thing. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to reset the sim. How do I... How do I... How do you how do you exit the sim from? I guess I gotta complete my run either by dying or by uh, finishing the objectives. Let's just die then. Let's. Uh, I have a plan. I have a plan for doing a better job here. Hey, snap me! Snap me, you coward! Like this. There we go. Okay, we're gonna reset. We're gonna start as Joan. We're gonna come up here and fix a bunch of stuff, and then we're gonna do this exploration. It'll be a lot easier if I don't have to constantly worry about where I'm stepping. Also, man, you get a lot of sim points even when you die. I guess I did kind of a lot of stuff. Okay, reset. Because we need a version of the simulation where Riley is available, right? So we'll run around as Joan and just fix things. Yeah, we have so many um, slots left on people's Neuromod charts, but, like, I really just don't need a lot of that stuff. So I have a Neuromod... <laughs> I have the Neuromod Fab plan, 
And I have for a while, I guess, because when we picked it up in that last run, it was a duplicate. We could just spend... I don't actually want to start with this. Uh, I do want to start with a Q-beam. I do want to start with a pistol. But we always get a wrench, and also we don't really need one. Bring a bunch of pistol, batter, pistol, pistol batteries. You know, the things that power the pistol. Bring a bunch of this stuff. Oh, we have shotgun shells now. We don't have shotgun, but do I want to just carry some shells into the sim? Yeah, probably. It's one inventory space. Look at how much... Look at how much sim, uh, sim currency we have. This is crazy. Alright, so we'll just bring a bunch of this stuff in. We'll bring in some time delays. We'll bring in some med kits. Like, a whole bunch of med kits. And then also, I'm just gonna buy a lot of neuromods, and we'll, uh... We'll neuromod out, like, real hard. We'll just go ahead and... I, like, I don't even... What I was saying is... I don't even think we really need more... Like, we're not bottlenecked by... Um... By our Neuromod abilities at all, I don't think. Do I want to put the Microminer on so that I can just... You know, no, you know what? I have enough... I was going to say so that we can really go nuts and buy all the Neuromods we need at the beginning of every run, but no, I probably don't even need to. So... Uh, Integrity of Suit is fine... Increased not dying is mostly what I want. We can, um, the only, the only thing I would be really excited to pick up is something that gives me a chance to, like, not spend bullets when I fire, I mean, like, QB ammo. Yeah. Ammo, basically, is the only thing I really care about. Ammo and metal. So that I can build ammo. Uh, I have a lot of chipset slots. Sure, maximum health. Uh, aside from ammo, I guess not dying is the next most important thing. Total, 66,000 sim points spent. And you know what? We're going to get it all back. Alright, we did our story objective. Kill a phantom with your wrench. I could do that. Not that I need to, but I can. Now let's do this. Joan needs to get into Moonworks and repair as many things in Moonworks as possible. That's the plan. I guess I need spare parts. I don't have the ability to fabricate spare parts yet. That's the thing that would be useful. Because it would be really cool if we could bring Joan into the simulation carrying a couple dozen spare parts. That's fine. We never, we never seem to be terribly short on them. We'll find some. So once we get up to Moon... I'm hoping that when we switch back to Riley after doing Joan stuff and escaping with Joan, that it will, um, that it will show us that, uh, objective indicator again, because now I'm starting to get really unsure. I should have, probably, before starting recording, gone back and watched the last episode, um, and if I can't figure this out, this, if I can't figure this out fairly quickly, we'll just move on to trying to get something else done, and I'll watch last episode before next episode. I'm not gonna make y'all sit here with me while I try to figure out what is going wrong. Why even make me pick up the keycard? You know I can get out of this room. Alright. New run means we need our buddy here. And also... Okay, I already had a wrench, so a wrench is already in slot one. Okay. Let's try to get this done quickly so that we have lots of time as Riley to, uh, to do the thing. Wow, two more time delays, huh? Maybe we don't need to get this done quickly. Also, Neuromods. Uh, I have a bunch of Neuromods. Obviously, we're going to pass these along. Uh, is there anything here that I really... Disassemble an object to create a temporary fab plan. I guess this is a good idea because we could have... Um... What would I make? We can already make Neuromods. We can already make bullets. I can't make Q-beam ammo. Yeah, okay. I assume that this, um, this temporary fab plan will only be active while we're Joan. But we can make QB ammo. That's something. Or I could pick up... I can't do this yet because I need to scan something still. Honestly, Machine Mind... Uh, it probably works on... Uh, what do you call it? The big, the big, scary, sort of greenish... Why can I not think of the name of that enemy? You know the one I'm talking about. The one with the, lo the rotating, levitating turrets. Uh, it probably works on those guys. Being able to turn those guys' hostilities off is probably cool. 
But honestly, I don't see any um, desperate need for these uh, for these neuromods to be spent. So I'm going to hold on to them for a moment until a situation presents itself. I don't have a propulsion system. I forgot to buy a propulsion system. Well, I think there's always one in this hallway, right? We'll just have to remember, uh, make sure that we remember to get one on all the other characters. We'll have Joan take the one that's in the environment. All right, Moonworks, as quickly as possible. Yeah, this one always seems to be here. I suppose I shouldn't skip past bodies, right? Sometimes they have all kinds of useful stuff. See that moon shark? It's coming this way, as always. Oh, oh, okay. Almost overshot there. It looks like the power's on to Moonworks, I think. Actually, I'm not sure if that sign is indicative of anything. I need to wait for the moon shark to get a little further away, because we're definitely going to have to walk across the ground here. Alright, dodge forward. Okay. Easy. Getting pretty good at navigating this place. I, I really dig the way this builds up. Like, you get more and more familiar with the moon base, and so you're able to get to the places you're going more quickly. It's not really limited by mechanical ability. There's some there's some amount of like, oh, you know, we gotta unlock hacking to get through here, we gotta unlock repair to get through there. But for the most part it's um it's just learning the map. I think that's a cool a cool skill to develop because it is a player skill, not a character skill. So we don't necessarily uh we don't want to just fix stuff up up in the top of Moonworks, right? We should fix everything everywhere we can. So we've got some time, as shown. We've got a whole bunch of uh time delay objects in our inventory. We'll just take a little tour of the base, but we're gonna start with Moonworks in case Joan has to bail for some reason. Uh, so if we had uh if we had the glue gun, you actually can patch these holes with glue. I have a glue charge, but that's a little bit more useful, and I don't really want to spend it on something like this. Let's go up here and scavenge for a bit. Still never been in this door. There's probably some useful stuff in there. We can pick up everything with Joan, but we have to be a little bit careful because at some point we're going to uh, have more stuff in our inventory than other characters can carry. Okay, Derma Web, that's a... That is a trauma-fixing fabrication plan that we did not yet have, so that's actually super useful. I don't have my buddy out. Well, hold on, we'll, uh, we'll summon him once I'm in a more stable area. I'm about to do some jumping around and I think he gets lost easily. Ooh, okay, almost overshot it there. I aimed at the uh, I aimed at the railing so that I would catch it, but I still almost overshot that. Okay, all very useful stuff. Okay, apparently we didn't have anti rad plans yet either. This has already been a productive run. Let's see if we can get in there. See if we can figure this out. Man, I love this, uh... I love this propulsion system. Can I... Is there anything... There's not really anything to grab onto there. Hmm. We might be able to get in as Riley, maybe? Because the bars on this window are pretty close together, but... Riley can turn into inanimate objects and you can still move around. So, like, we could turn into a cup or something. Sorry, workstation's unlocked? I just got a sim reward for... For I know not what. Yeah, Riley might be able to get through that window, like, as a cup or something, if we jumped from here. I don't think I can get through. Alright, well, let's go to the Moonworks. How did I get up here before? Can I just grab on that? No, I'm not. Not able to jump quite high enough. Okay, so you're supposed to go from up there. Whatever. 
That was weird. While I was climbing there, my head, like, snapped around. I bet that would have been really upsetting to look at from a third-person perspective. And we definitely have accumulated enough corruption that it's worth spending one of these. Okay, and definitely not so much that it's worth spending another one. Try to take it real easy and make sure we don't waste any of this stuff. Seems like a good time to have this dude out. Uh, let's carry this with us. We can just make a turret. Actually, am I? Can I uh, propulsion jump with with a thing in my hands? Let's test this here. Okay, I can. Can I climb? Uh, looks like I maybe cannot climb. I'll probably be okay, right? Spooky monster noises. Yeah, okay. So as Joan, we can just put a turret down anytime. We don't need to carry turrets around so much. Although, it's still a good idea once you've summoned a turret to carry it around. So that if you get into a really harsh situation, you can instantly have two turrets. But I think I'm going to set this up. Oh, that's a guy right there. It seems to be unaware of me, so I'm going to take advantage of that. Surprise! How did I miss? I am... I am mad. Oh, what? Stop. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. It's underneath us now. There it is. Okay. I walked right... I forgot that the Mimic was etheric, and I just walked right through the etheric stuff. I'm happy to report that Moonworks has completed another quarter without any serious... That dismantle skill. Actually, that would be useful. Uh, did I just pick up... I don't know. It doesn't matter. But, Neuromods... Dismantle. Yeah, this is a thing that's totally worth spending Neuromods on. More spare parts. And increases recycling yield. Uh, maybe I'll get that... When we're about to recycle something. Because, yeah, spare parts are a thing that are still still very limited. Okay. So did we just... We just found a higher quality of fab plan for the silenced pistol, I guess? Now, it's possible stuff in here won't even be messed up, right? Because it's different from run to run, where things are broken. And also, stuff might have been broken by the combat that took place in here, which I guess is not something I can necessarily affect because when Riley gets in here, there may be more enemies. Ah, I was trying to get to it before it saw me. Okay. So yeah, we get extra loot now from operators and stuff as Riley it looks like we're clear. I know the music the music got calm, but that all that means is that no enemies are currently aware of us. I wanted to make sure that it looked like there actually weren't any left. So we've got a lot of ammo and stuff to pass on to other characters. This place looks pretty clear to me. Now we can still find the guy, right? You know what we should try to do is we should try to go to a security station. I don't think the volunteers are tracked because they don't have suits, right? They don't have proper Transtar uniforms. Okay. Oh, yeah, everything's fine here. This will be a lot easier to navigate this time. And we've dealt with at least some of the combat. You know, we've actually not read these emails, I think. Uh, Shay, I know we're behind schedule, and I'm sorry for the inconvenience, but when I was repairing Harvester Bot 23, I think I left my tra tracking bra bracelet and keycard inside of it. Hopefully the recycler shielding on the keycard does its job. Is there any chance you can help me shut it down briefly so I can get it back? Okay. So Harvester Bot 23 has a keycard inside of it. Uh, Brian is blaming natural causes for the quakes, but I think something else is going on. I've been moved from the Creator Access Machine Shop, and I'm being scolded for investigating the Quake's so-called epicenter. Hmm. Do we know what was causing the moonquakes? It's gotta be the shark, right? So there's no, uh, this thing's broken. 
We need hacking level two. We gotta get uh, we gotta get this final character unlocked, man. Alright, let's just pop through here. I'm assuming this is the same workstation with the same emails. Yep, okay. Well, see, the harvesters here are listed as, uh, are listed by Greek letters, not by numbers. So what's harvester 23? It was 23, right? Oh, these aren't the same. These are emails being, this is the send of this email. This, uh, that was the receive side. Okay. Harvesters must produce more H3 per load. This is becoming critical as we can run out of viable mining locations. And Moonquake stuff. So I don't think this is actually anything valuable. Help me shut it down briefly so I can get them back. So it's probably the one that's been shut down. The one that's in maintenance mode. But I don't even know what B4 means. What are, what are these A, B, and C locations? Yeah, I don't know. Okay, anyway, we probably shouldn't spend too, too much time in here, and we pr I guess I should, at, since I'm looking at it. Go ahead and lower the corruption level a little bit. It seems to run really quickly through the first level, doesn't it? Let's take a real quick look around the perimeter here, make sure that nothing is broken. Yeah, it's possible that all the stuff that was busted in here is bu was busted as a result of the combat. That occurred in this room so it's maybe was never going to be the case that we needed to fix a bunch of stuff but at least we've cleared some of the combat out hopefully not too much stuff will spawn in here as corruption levels rise yeah i think we're good let's just grab some garbage it's probably a good idea for us to pick up as much trash and stuff as we can with joan because she has the extra carrying capacity and just uh, use her to get it all back to recyclers. Okay, let's leave. I think we've done what needed to get done here. This is a place that is totally traversable and searchable. Let's try to find the security console. We can maybe set this run up even a little bit more. I'm pretty sure that the volunteers don't show up on the security console, but I could be more sure. Let's see if I can't make that happen. Let's see if I can't make me more sure. Uh, the grav shaft is probably repairable, right? What am I doing? Let's say do not enter at the top. Whatever, it's fine. It's fine because we got all this uh, all this Artax propulsion system, and also I can just descend carefully. Okay. Alright. Um, oh. Explosions. There we go. Okay, now the grav shaft is properly functional. I thought one side of it already was, but I'm apparently wrong about that. I thought I was going to just be able to jump over that. I'd really like to please loot the robot. Okay. Fine. Never mind. Okay. Clear the area. Took some minor burns there. Kind of got set on fire a small amount. Oh, a Q beam cell, a proper Q beam cell fabrication plan. Awesome. And also this. Increases glide speed and adds an explosive ground slam ability. Well, obviously we're going to put that on. Uh, what do I want least of my current ones? Yeah, this, this guy's fine. We don't need this. Press C while active to ground slam. Or press C while you're floating to ground slam. Okay, easy. All right. Do I have any of the appropriate medical item for burns? I think I don't. We've picked up a bunch of skeletal repair kits. A bunch of these. 
Yeah, looks like looks like the answer is no. That's fine. We can uh, we can find a medical operator somewhere. I'm confident it won't be an issue. So do I have? I'm gonna partially load this thing. We have a we have a little bit of food. All right, so we're gonna put in. I don't actually have any anti rads, but I do have a fab plan for those. We'll put in three drinks, one food. That's all I have on me. Okay. Alright, let's go to the fabricator. In the refinery. I guess the smart way to go would be up, but... Let's do this first. Let's, let's look around here. Our security operator's got a lot more health. We may as well look around a little bit more, right, before we head back, because... Oh, did that not do anything? There we go. That was weird. It was like a delay. Okay. Well, let's get these uh, operator corpses before I forget. Okay. Well, we are rich with QB ammo. I guess I don't really need to repair that, because there's already a door uh, into this room that is functional. That said, I do have a lot of spare parts. It's not like we're threatening to run low on them or anything. Okay, hey, free escape pod nav chip, that's nice. That is a new, uh, that is a new fab plan for sure. Okay. Right, that other door is... Oh, that other door is actually not in this room. But it's just right over here. That's fine. I'm not going to spend the part. Ginger and Falcon have been reassigned to Hector's LH-1B through LH-1D. Come in. His zapper seems to be effective at a much greater range than mine. Alright, so is the door... To, the door to the escape pods is... Yeah, okay, it's functional. It's sparking a little bit, and I was worried I was going to have to repair it. Alright, just making sure that that will be available for somebody else. I don't really know what my plan is for Joan leaving yet, but we have a lot of options so far. Okay. Yeah, things are going pretty well. Surprise. The really, really easy part of the run is going alright. Honestly, even the uh, the pretty bad burns that we sustained I don't think are a big deal. Alright, now we could... Go back and try to go the highway through this area. But I do want to travel along the, uh, the ground a little bit here. Just to make sure we're finding all of the stuff that can be found. Huh, is there not an active moon shark right now? I walked on the ground a little bit. I expected it would come running. Alright, this is maybe inadvisable, but we're going to find out. Huh. No, I think there's just not a moon shark in here right now. Well, that's cool. There's one of those. Not a great fighter. So yeah, we don't often get a chance to uh, just crawl through the center area. It looks like it doesn't really go anywhere. I wonder if there's always a Q-beam there. Alright, let's just grab a bunch of stuff then while we're over here. And then we'll take everything back to the... Uh Supercharge a medical operator with a Q-beam. That is, uh, that is entirely doable. A 
Hey, guy. Yeah, I mean, there's no reason not to do the Chasma Bounties if they're not, like, super inconvenient. Okay, we've been fairly thorough, I think. Let's hit the Fabricator, uh, dump a bunch of this stuff into the Recycler, and then try to figure out how we're going to get Joan out of here. Like I said, we should probably, at the very least, go through the crew annex and fix any doors that are broken. Because that place always seems to have broken doors. Alright, what else? We definitely don't need to keep all of our wrenches. Do I just have the two? Looks like I just have two. I'm not allowed to recycle <laughs> the uh, navigation chip, but that's fine. Huh. These things are not made of as much material as I would think. Uh, we have an extra control module, and ordinarily I would recycle this, but we're starting to see it be the case that uh, these are actually useful. Do I want to recycle my pistol? Because we can make a better pistol now. Eh, probably not. It's probably not worth spending the metal to make a slightly higher quality pistol. Mostly I just need something that is capable of firing the bullets. I don't need it to be, like, super good at firing the bullets. So how much... How much QB memo do we have? Yeah, lots. I don't need to worry about that right now. Uh, let, me, let me make sure that we are equipped. Oh, I still have two wrenches. I also have two Q-beams, I guess. That's probably not necessary, especially since I can uh, fabricate them. And this one's in great shape. I will be sad if it breaks... Yeah, maybe I should just keep the extra one. I should get rid of the... I don't have another wrench. Does Joan just have a wrench permanent? Like, Joan has a special wrench that is not in her inventory? You should always have the access to wrench space. You pull one out. I'm just going to bank this right now. Uh, and that probably. I don't actually need to be carrying that. And... I'll hold on to the rest of this stuff. Yeah, you need to go away, though, because you are creepy as heck. Okay, do we need to build anything right this second? Uh... Ooh, I could make a psychoscope. Maybe we should do that. Also, just looking over here, can I... I cannot make the medical item that recovers from burns, it looks like. I don't see it on the menu, at least. Yeah, I can make some uh, some of those items, not that one. Okay, what about a glue cannon? I think that's that's worth building. A glue cannon is a very very useful piece of machinery that we have not had a lot of access to. Uh, I have no charges. I can make those too, though, can't I? Or not charges, but ammo. The glue is made of organic materials. Okay, well, we'll have to keep an eye out, but it's nice to have a glue cannon. So then, I only have a little bit of organic left. I don't really have a lot of materials. And we're totally cool on ammo. Yeah, I have a, a ton of pistol ammo, a ton of shotgun. That's fine. We're good. Let's move on. Alright, let's go to the crew annex. Like I said, there's almost always a bunch of stuff that needs to be repaired there. Oh, you know, we should actually, we should go through the labs, too. We'll just go through all three of the main areas real fast here with Joan and fix up everything that we can fix up. Because there's doors that break all over the place. I don't expect there to be a ton of other stuff for us to fix, but doors need fixing and the other characters can't do it. Plus, we'll be able to clear out a lot of the initial enemies in the areas, which is good because, um... And new enemies will continue to spawn as the simulation goes on, but I'm not sure that they actually despawn the old enemies. I think it is the case that new enemies just layer on top of the old enemies, which is why when we go to a place for the first time during Corruption Level 3 or 4, it is often just, like, packed with dudes. So we can, uh, we can eliminate some of that. That's the moon shark over there. I guess the smart way to do this would have been to go through the tram, actually. Hold on. We should use the tram uh, in part to make sure that the tram is functional in all three of the places. And if it's not, we can um, we can try to fix that too. Because Joan has the inventory space to carry a bunch of control boxes around and stuff. 
We might have to pull control boxes from harvesters. Oh, you know what? That harvester that's um that's disabled in the in the crater entry here from Moonworks, that's probably the one. Does that harvester have a key card in it? I think it usually does, doesn't it? Or it did the first time we found it, at least. That might be the one that they're talking about uh, in that email. But this is a good start. I'm I'm pleased with how <laughs> I'm pleased with how many delay time objects we found immediately. Here, let's uh, let's climb up here. Oh, uh, there isn't a harvester on here this time. Okay. Uh, where is the tram access? Right, I don't have a I don't have a proper map. There's actually a bunch of stuff we didn't go to yet. I mean, we don't really need to go to Joan's office, right? Because we've we resolved all of Joan's so story stuff first. The, and the tram station is not on that side. So yeah, we need to uh, we need to go straight through here. Have I been up there? Hold on, there's uh, a bunch of stuff in here we can climb. In ah, what I was gonna say is I can fit through there, I think, but I managed to walk right off of the girder right before getting to it, apparently. Oh, you just can't stand on that? Let's hold on a second. I could have sworn I was standing on that earlier. Oh, maybe you can't stand on it on the part the wall, like, bulges out and pushes you off. Yep, that is exactly what happens. I am not on the ground right now. Here we go. Ah. Does not want to grab on there. Have I been... Where, where is that? I must have been in there at some point. There's no way that there's still stuff I haven't been... I'm stuck. There we go. Right, let's see if we can let's see if we can maybe propulsion th uh, like a, do a little thrust jump here there we go An area with a maintenance tunnel maybe I haven't been here this doesn't look familiar to me at all that doesn't necessarily mean anything I'm very forgetful but seems odd. Yeah, where the heck does this... Huh. No, I'm pretty sure I didn't know about that. That seems new. Okay, well. More ways to get around without... It. Whoa, I did not mean to do that. Yeah, more ways to get around, always a good thing. I don't know where I am relative to where I was trying to go now, though. Central mine... this way? Hold on, we'll just take that grav shaft, uh, shaft that we repaired. You know, the one that's right by the active flame spout. Man, I could really use a very small amount of glue ammo. Corruption level warning. And then, man, like... We just have the one glue charge. It's probably not... It's probably not worth um, spending this to cover that up. Here we can just go around. Oh, 
Okay. <laughs> where the heck am I relative to where I was going? I'm going to go down a little tiny bit. I'm going to set this right here to wait for whoever wants to come forward. I don't want to put it actually into an active hostile area because I am concerned that if I do that, it will get destroyed before we get back to it. But it should be able to hang out here. Especially since, like, if an operator flies up from the center of the room to harass it, um, I believe operators, once glued, fall. So. Okay, yeah, we need this. Let's see, we need to go... Is that the path? We need to go out this way. Through there. Okay, we can, uh, we can improvise a trip over to there. I don't actually know what the proper way to get to that part of the area is. Just making sure everything looks functional. Oh, sweet. Okay. We should probably just go ahead and load our glue gun here. Man, we are finding a ton of stuff. Ah, uh, okay. This door at the ground level. The one that I could have walked through many, many times. Right, okay. That's good. I'm getting some mental mapping going in my head. We take this door up. This area could still be filled with enemies. So let's be a little careful. Also, it's just real, uh, it's very horror movie in here. In the event of a catastrophic failure, each major zone of the Pythias moon base is outfitted with emergency escape pods. To ensure readiness, all officers are required to monitor escape pod status on an hourly basis using the software available on all security stations. Engineering must be okay. This stuff is not important beyond that. Listen, I'm not trying to say that world building is not important, and I understand that that is literally what I just said. But, you know, when I say important, you know what I mean. Okay, broken doors. Must be fixed. Oh, hey, Brian's office. This is probably a little emotional for her. Ah, Brian. He really loved lemons. Just constantly jamming fresh lemons into his face and then throwing the peels on the ground? Because apparently Brian was a horrible slob. 911. New Typhon? Moonworks has been experiencing minor quakes, so I sent one of my miners to investigate. We were discussing the findings over Transcribe when he shouted that the rocks came alive under his feet. That's when the transmission went dead. Evidence points to Typhon activity, but I have no idea. Yes, the moon, the moon quakes were the generation of the moon shark. Helium three not meeting quota. Uh, from Brian Chung, subject, come by my work workstation. Oh, sorry. This, okay, so this is from Claire to Brian. The uh, the reply. Claire, there's been some concern about you being distracted and unavailable. Can you swing by so that we can discuss? I'd love to help. But her mailbox is full. Claire is... Is Claire the janitor, the last character we're trying to unlock? I definitely know the name. Uh, someone left a chemical spill on the floor in the refinery. I don't know what's preventing Claire from taking care of these kinds of things. If she's not going to be available, can we at least get someone else access to the maintenance closet? Yeah, weird. It's almost like she's not here to do janitorial work at all. Okay, uh, fab plan for time thing. No, we're not going to be fast enough. Oh boy, okay. We do have a fab plan for the time thing. But it requires more plastic than we have on us. Well, let's dump all of the garbage... That's actually a lot of plastic. Sorry, synthetic material, but you know what it is. Plant clippings. Okay, a single uh, a single plant clipping is a fifth of a block of uh, organic material. That's pretty useful, actually. Initiate vacuum. 
So I don't need a psychoscope for Joan necessarily. I guess I don't need to make one uh, for Riley either, because Riley starts with one. I'm going to go ahead and make another one of these, though. Why not, right? They're just useful to have. Ooh. Yellow quality Q-beam fab plant. No, I'm not going to do this, because we can just buy a, a Q-beam, a yellow Q-beam before we head in with the next character, right? We can spend sim currency on it instead. Claire will be fine with her blue one. Attention, everyone. We have a special announcement. Or, uh, John, rather. Head of security. Okay, we have a bunch of food now. This is Officer Bhatia, head of security. Just wanted to take a second to call out this main speech. All right, that will be very helpful. The commendation goes to Officer Casey Fletcher for outstanding service. Abs, okay. Be sure to congratulate Officer Fletcher and buy her a round. So real quick, let's uh, jump back over here. So now that we now that we have access to two types of fabrication, I gotta try to remember. First of all, garbage. Secondly, extra shotguns go in here, so this is 41. Yeah, I gotta try to remember that sometimes it's gonna make sense to make things via recycler, or via fabricator, and sometimes it's gonna make more sense to wait until we're the next character and bring those things in via, uh, via sim currency. Alright. So, now let's, uh, let's check the security station before we leave here and see if... Yeah, see, it only shows crew, I think. Right, we can't use this to to look for volunteers. No, there are no volunteer number things. I don't think that uh, Transtar really wanted all of the crew knowing what was going on with the volunteers, so they wouldn't put them in the security console, which is a thing that is widely accessible. I missed. I'm usually not even worried about aim because you can. You've probably noticed that the. Uh, The electricity that arcs off this thing has a tendency to find its target even if I'm not actually aiming at them. Alright, hold on a second. I have overused this thing. Let's, uh, let's fix it real quick. Yeah, we can just go ahead and restore it to full. I have enough spare parts. It used like an Artax propulsion dodge. That's my thing. Oh, well, at least it gave me a little bit of ammo back. Oh, you know what I should probably do, actually? Uh, I should probably go back and reload that uh, the mass driver container, huh? Where'd that mimic go? Somewhere in here there is a thermal mimic, and I want you to find it for me. Okay, thank you. Good boy. Yeah, we should probably go load the mass driver, because we absolutely have the stuff for it now. Where does this access tunnel go? Huh. Interesting. We've definitely never been here. Wow. Okay, well that's cool. We should remember that this is here. There's going to be loot available in here every run. Sorry, Maureen, that was my finger slipped. I was, uh... That was a real oops. There's a reason you're not supposed to keep your finger inside the trigger guard. What that really was was a gun safety lesson for all of you. See, I'm looking out for you. I got you guys, and I got you, I got it. 
Okay, so we need to get into Pythias Labs, and probably we need to bring two control modules and, and do that to it. So... Wait a second. Dermaweb Skin Graft. Yeah, this is the burn trauma thing. I mean, not like it mattered. The burns were not... The burns were not meaningfully impacting us. It was a pretty, it was a pretty gentle burn. But yeah, I've definitely been carrying around those items uh, this whole time. All right, let's go back to. I know I'm just like running back and forth a lot, but let's go back down to the mass driver because I think we have everything except for the anti rads, and we can go fabricate the anti rads. Did I search this? No. Okay. Yeah, I think we have enough food and drink now, right? Uh, you and you, that's five, and then food items, two, three, four, five. Cool. Initiate battle. Alright, um, let's go up to Brian's lab, try to fab those anti-rads, and then we'll, uh, we'll load up the mass driver, but we won't escape that way. Because we still have work to do as Joan. Yeah, that's right. I keep I've looked at the uh the menu here so many times. So I need one point of organic. Okay, well. We certainly have some bodies that we could recycle. Do I have anything in my inventory that like is any of this food? Okay, that's got some Yeah, okay, we should do a little recycling. I totally have stuff in my inventory. Oh, we're at point six. So right now the recycler yield is yep 0.45 good enough. All right, so let's fab us up some anti rads. We'll go load that in, and then some other character can get out that way. We can have somebody just haul ass for the uh, for the mass driver. That can be the last escape, maybe. Not that we really need to do consecutive escapes, because again, we don't need the sim points. I mean, we actually, um, one of our objectives is to have all five scare characters escape through all five methods in a single run, right? Okay, so let's, uh, let's take the pram to the crew annex, do a quick repair pass on the crew annex, and then we will run over and try to do a... I guess we can't... We can't do the full escape thing on this run anyway. We don't even have all the characters unlocked yet. I'm getting ahead of myself. But yeah, we'll do a quick repair run through the crew annex, and then we'll head from the crew annex to the crater to the Pythias Labs, and we will try to repair the tram on the Pythias Labs side. I'm sure it's just that it needs to have control modules inserted. Although, actually, I don't know for sure that it's powered. We might need control modules for the power station and control modules for the tram. I don't know. We'll find out. No sense speculating too much about it. So, yeah, hopefully, I guess we can uh, we can probably do the crew annex and then call the video there and leave the mystery of the Pythias Labs for the next episode. Because we don't, like I said, we don't need to spend a ton of time in here. And I don't even really need to loot the place all that much. We can probably leave this for future characters. I just want to make sure everything in here works. Good afternoon, Pythias. We'd like to remind everyone to please observe the posted quiet hours on level one of the crew annex. Quality rest is essential for peak performance and safety. Okay, yeah, somebody pointed out, I forgot, this is a thing from the main game. You can uh, harvest the plants, you can get flower cuttings and stuff. And that's a good source of, uh, thank you. What a helpful little pet. That's a good source of organic material, so I should, I should remember to do that. And thank you very much, person who pointed that out, uh, whose name I have already forgotten, I apologize. Thank you, and also, I'm sorry. Seems to be a thing I have to say relatively frequently. It's so weird to me now. I mean, I, I play shooters semi-frequently, and the way things work in shooters, it's so weird to me to just fire without aiming down my sights first. 
but that uh, aiming down sights is extremely not what right click does in this game. Where'd that thing go? Well, hold on. Let's uh, grab some of this stuff. Joan is definitely the character you want to use for this kind of thing. She actually has the inventory space, and we'll just uh, we'll take all this stuff to a recycler. Got to find the storage room key card. All right, did my buddy find that other mimic? He did. Is that a headshot? If a mimic turns into an object that sort of appears to have a head, you should do extra damage by shooting it in the the part that's kind of a head. Wait a second. Oh, are these actually decaying? The the background on these, I wonder if these will actually decay over time. I don't think they did in the base game. Ooh. Is this tracking my pet? It's probably my pet. Oh, nope. That's a thermal mimic right there. In fact, it kind of seems like my pet may have despawned, or no, he's... Nope, there's just a mimic down there that I uh, apparently missed. Man, it's nice having inventory space, being able to just pick up all the stuff you find. I know. Let's, uh... Oh, he's like... He's on the next level down. Okay. Worry about that later. Alright, let's scout as much as we can. Corruption level is rising at a rate that I'm not super comfortable with. Oh, too many. Too many. Yeah, thanks for all your help there, buddy. Okay, have we been up here before? This kind of doesn't look familiar to me. The view is uh, lovely and also terrifying. Beautiful and terrible. Marcus Lee Crosby. Does not seem familiar to me. Quiet day up there. Standard transit from shuttle advent from ta uh from yeah from shuttle advent from Talos to Earth. One mass driver payload dispatched. Incoming military shuttle. No other traffic anticipated. You know, just a normal boring day. Nothing important will happen. Inbound shuttle not responsive. Officer Blessing, I have lost voice contact with the inbound shuttle from Talos. Comm systems are functional and telemetry indicates the ship has initiated an automated landing procedure. I'll continue hailing the crew. Thought it might be prudent to alert you to the deviation. Arrival time is 2.12.46. Huh. Take that. Man, yeah, you just make, you make a crazy, crazy amount of sim points on every run if you're just really looking around. That's actually a new one. Also, Donnie Sandoval here. We definitely have not been through here before. There's no way. Alright, flight traffic control. Alright, original message, nerd alert. How about Tremont and emailing the whole base looking for people to play that game? You want to sit around and talk in funny voices with him? No thanks, man. Run a poker game, though, and I'm in. Oh yeah, you're so much cooler than the people who are playing d d It's not so bad. Problem is Tremont and not the game. No one will get a word in edgewise. Bremer says he's got zero replies. Speaking of poker, let's do that. I might have whiskey and cigars to share. Bremer and a couple of others are in. See you at the rec room tonight? Never doubt it. Just heard a rumor that Ryback is going to change Patrice Young's shift schedule so that she won't be able to play for us in the next game. If that's true, it's total bullshit. I wouldn't put it past him, though. The Craters can't win without pulling something like this. I'll cover her shift if it comes to that. This is skullduggery. We're all talking about how we're too cool to play D&D, &D, but we definitely use the word skullduggery in casual conversation. 
All right, uh, this was not super useful, but it was funny. It was useful to us in a morale sense, you know. All right, uh, let's make sure that all of this stuff is functional. I mean, there's nothing in here that's going to break. Sneak attack. Oh, non-lethal. Go, boy. Find him. Sniff him out. Ow, oh, Jesus. I was like, is he opening that maintenance shaft? What is he doing? Okay, you're actually dead now. That other mimic got up and ran out of the room while we were fighting. You scared the hell out of me, little dude. Okay, I saw that. Yes, thank you. I found him, though. Why would it run back into the room with me? At first I thought it was just, you know, afraid. I get that. I get where that comes from. Okay, we gotta, uh, we still gotta unlock this last character. Because I need hacking abilities. Alright, we know what's in here. Just search all the cabinets real fast. Hell yeah, Neuromods. Wow. This was extremely worth our time. Speaking of time, uh, we might want, <laughs> might want to get a little bit of a move on here. Ooh. That is a much better quality of wrench. Yeah, look at all the look at all the upgrades. All right, we need to find a fabricator like Yesterday. Actually, hold on. I have, um... Yeah, one of these. I should probably put that in slot two. Okay. Aw, this wrench doesn't look fancy at all. I was hoping it was going to be fancy. Okay. Detected. You happy? Alright. Yeah, I need to, uh, I need to hit the recycler. All right, lots of uh, lots of keys. Man, maybe we shouldn't take any longer. Maybe I should just go because we're close to an exit, right? Maybe we should just take the opportunity to leave, and we'll figure the rest of this. Okay, wow, we're getting uh, a little bit lucky here. Actually, hold on, give me this back. Let's summon our mule. We gotta offload Place some of this holder. stuff onto him. Yes, placeholder to you too. Uh, he can hold this and this. That'll make some space. We don't. We don't need to carry a ton of stuff here. Sort and then pick up. Ooh, a fire shotgun. Okay. Maybe, maybe I should give him some more stuff here. Oh, I probably don't need to be carrying all these wrenches. Because we can have some of this stuff be recycled by other characters, right? Like, it's it's not necessarily the case that Joan has to be the one to do all of the work. Let's just make sure that none of the bodies in here have anything terribly useful. I also want to mention the Phantoms are still looking for a few players to fill out their roster. As always, please see Mr. Safra in the crew annex to sign up or reserve gym time. Man, maybe we didn't need to buy a bunch of Neuromods, because holy crap, do we have some Neuromods now. Do not pilot the sh- I just want to- there we go, I just want to loot Sam Lopez's body. Ah, huh. apparently I'd never actually looked at that body before. It's in a place where I, uh... You're probably gonna just miss it if you if you just run through, I guess. Okay, so we did... We went up to the control tower. We did everything up here. Let's head through the crew facilities. Or do I... Hold on. Do I want to go downstairs? Yeah, we didn't go into the trauma center yet either. Requesting new operator. 
We're acquiring a lot of chipsets. Nothing new, though. We haven't seen a new chipset uh, aside from that uh, that super rare one we found. I feel like we haven't found a new chipset in a while, so we probably have most of them at this point. Okay, we did not find the keys for that. So yeah, crew facilities. I probably don't need the Q-beam. I like the way the Mimic enemies seem to try to focus on our pet Mimic. Honestly, the fact that he provides a distraction is probably even more valuable than the fact that he's helping us find the Mimics before they uh, pounce on us. Holy crap, we have so much gear. I don't know how we're gonna... Oh, hey, that's like an actual guy. This is maybe more of a shotgun type scenario. Now, granted, he's thermal, so getting right up on him is maybe not the best idea, but the shotgun does deal a whole lot of damage. Ow! Ow! Okay. Didn't even actually take any damage there. He ran through us and it was real hot for a moment, but wow, you are kidding me. Uh is that, sorry, is that another Q beam? It feels a little bit like the game is messing with me. What is going on? Why are there so many Q beams? Okay, so this is Yeah, okay, this elite is just massively better. Alright, hold still. Stay right there. I have another blue quality Q-beam for you. Yeah, we need to get to a fabricator. We need to unload his inventory. Oh, you know why things went so poorly on that last run? I'm pretty sure I didn't, uh, I didn't shoot any hoops at all. Not even one hoop. I was about to say, no wonder things were going so poorly. I didn't, I didn't do my, uh, my arbitrary human luck ritual. But uh, I guess we haven't done it on this run either. And man, I cannot stop finding elites. Okay, we're gonna have to figure out which of these elite shotguns is the elite shotgun for us. Okay, there's a, uh, there's a telepath in here. So we could null wave him, right? I have a null wave transmitter. Let's equip that. I'm going to null wave him, then I'm going to run in there and I'm going to Q-beam his ass. That is uh, going to bounce off the window. It's probably fine. Ow. Okay. Yeah, that was easy enough. I can't, I can't even carry all this loot. There's too much stuff. Uh, where's my guy? Maybe he disappeared. I wish I could, um, I wish I could shove stuff from the ground into his inventory. Uh, why don't you take some of this garbage, I guess? Because we're going to have to unload him pretty seriously. All right, that'll give me enough room to pick up the shotgun. Uh, you're not wrong. Okay. He's almost out of inventory space. It's an extra propulsion system for somebody. Okay. And I know we're short on time, but listen. Some things are more important. Yeah. All right. I'll just go ahead and use that. Suppose I had it on my pistol app. 
Another thing we need to do before we uh, before we leave is we need to make sure that we uh, repair all of our weapons. All the everything we're passing on has to get repaired to full. Hey guy, oops, you're right there. Sorry. I hope that the unsummoning is not painful. Okay, extra shotgun. Right, hard drive. And yeah, we're real close to a recycler here. Fist bump. <laughs> I, I cannot help but be delighted by him. I'm sorry. I know it shouldn't be funny the third time, but you know what? That's not... A... That mimic was pretending to be a mimic corpse. Oh no, they're learning. I have definitely never seen that behavior before. All right, we should we should probably not stick around too much longer here. I don't have enough space in my inventory for a one space thing. Guy, come here. Hold on to this Typhon garbage for me. Okay. See, it's a good thing I came through here. Although I guess we had access to this room from the uh, from the vent anyway, so. That was a new chipset. What is that? Oh, that's actually a really interesting one. Not for this character, obviously, but... Alright, we'll pick that up in a second, because I actually do want to be carrying two of those around. Just making sure nothing else is around here. Okay. Boy, oh boy, do we have some stuff to recycle. So, we're recycling you. One of these two things, probably. Ah, they're both so good. You know what? I'm going to keep them both. We'll put one of these on the, uh, on the mule. I am going to recycle probably a lot of these drinks. We just we have way more food and drink than we could possibly use. And I think that's it for right now. And then we're gonna grab some his some of his stuff here. Sorry, quickly sort my inventory. Give me this and this and this and this and one of these wrenches. What a weird circumstance. What a what a strange situation we find ourselves in here. I'll give me some of these spare shotguns. Why did this not? Huh. Just really didn't want to go in there. Okay, we have a little bit of space left in the recycler. No, hey, those are my pistol bullets. I need those. Okay. I don't think I've ever had a completely full recycler before. That's a pretty good yield. And now for the rest of it. We're going to leave this in here. Okay, is there anything else in my inventory that I want to get rid of? Not right now. Maybe later. Wow, that was 12 points of organic or of uh, exotic material almost. Well, we could build just about anything we want to build now. Take this control module and we may as well just go ahead and sock it away in here. I'm also going to put that in there. Yeah, I think we can hold on to the rest of this stuff. Man, it is going to suck going back to the other characters who have the tiny inventories. Oh, hey, I totally forgot to search this. Didn't have enough fabrication materials. Feeling a little bit more comfortable now. Alright, for serious, where, where did we end up here? We ended up on... 24 mineral, almost 5 organic. Yeah, this is pretty alright. About 15 exotic. Okay, I think this is where we're going to call it for today because I need some time to think about exactly what we're going to do with all of this material. So, let's just pause it here. Thank you all so much for watching. Come back next time to see how we take advantage of this embarrassment of riches. And we'll see you then.